look at you. <laughs> oh, a police doggy. Look at you. Fighting crime. Fighting crime. Chopper. Come here, I got a picture of you tonight. Come on. You look nice. Vlogger. <laughs> Hi, guys. Jamie here. <gasps> Wow, I'm nice. I'm <laughs> we just found a video BD. <laughs> You're crying. Charlotte's really happy. That just turned Charlotte into me. I actually think you look so good. Yeah, it's good isn't I it? am shook. You look beautiful. We're getting a takeaway Nando's after a day of hard work. Fantastic. Fantastic. Jack's in the house, living it up like a king. And then me and Jack, I actually need to like sit down and properly update you guys, but me and Jack are away. Again, a week. We're going to London for work, but it'll be really good. Bye, I got time with my friend. I don't know what you said <gasps> London, baby. We're going to London for a benefit in YSL. Should I look true to the area? Is that how you said it? Yeah, from friends. Yeah, look, I thought that was just you being you there, and I was like, Stop. No. <laughs> London baby. London baby. Hopefully doing our skydive tomorrow. But I've not told anyone about it yet because um don't know if it's gonna happen. Again. We might drive all the way down and then Fingers again. crossed. And then we've got I've got to do a Facebook live today <coughs> with benefit. We've got a dinner a, a party with YSL and then I've got like lovely fat stacky meetings. No fun. Would you like a croissant? No, I'm trying to not be a roly poly nightmare. I will have done the last two months of so eating drink. <laughs> and I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm going to be a picture of hell. It'll be my best now. <laughs> I'm alright. <laughs> Delighted to be joined by our very own brow hero, Miss Jamie Jerry. Hello, everybody. We are going to be talking to you all things brows and services today. So make sure you post your comments and questions below because you could win a prize. You could win a prize. Yeah, yeah. You've got the Great Pointer Pro in here, and you also get a little spoolie. My favourite words in the makeup dictionary. It's a spoolie, and then this is actually the exact press kit that we got given on the trip. Hey guys, um, oh my god, my, my voice. I've not done a proper update for this whole week. Basically, we started off the week, Charlotte came over, I filmed a Charlotte, it was a really funny video, I turned it into me. Honestly, I think even if it was just a video for us to watch and not put on YouTube, it was honestly, it was so much fun. Um, and then the next day we, we packed, me and Jack are in London. Um, yesterday we had a little bit of work with Benefit, I did a Facebook Live with them, which was really fun, we went for a really nice dinner last night, and we've not told you guys, because we just don't want anyone to get disappointed, but we are currently in the car, and we're on our way back to the skydive place. <laughs> the, the weather's not good, again, you honestly I can't believe it, we were looking out the window, it's not as bad as last time, but it's not great, it's still really cloudy. The clouds are a lot higher up this time than last, yeah. so 
we're expecting to maybe be able to do it. Maybe. We've got everything crossed because you get nervous, you get excited and then we did this for charity so we're just going to have to keep on booking, keep on coming down here until we can do it. We are relentless, we're going to do it. Uh, yeah, but it makes me more nervous, it's making me more nervous. But it'll be good. So we're on our way just now. If any of you guys remembered, there was a vlog and it was all about my Mac meet and greets and there was a, a, a shady looking man behind me <laughs> in the car. He's in the car again. What, the bobbing head? The bobbing head behind me. He's in the car again. Can't really tell you what it's for, but... Grand unveiling will be soon enough. Yeah, no, soon enough. <laughs> and then we're also in the car with Alan, who I was so excited to see today, because um, he's just my favorite. And you've got, you're full of good stories, Alan. Never a boring journey with Alan. Yeah. So we're just on our way. We've got, how long's left, do you reckon? 50 minutes. 50. 50 more minutes in the car. Quite the journey, like it's quite it's quite a drive. But Alan's going to wait with us whether, whether we do the jump or not. And then Jack and I are actually in London for a few more nights. So we're going to be working. We've got loads of meetings. We've got a fun party tomorrow night. Fly sale. Day. And we're just going to have fun, aren't we? We do get the work done, but we have a bloody good time. <laughs> am I right? Am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> we're just about to get there. We are about five minutes away. I have just received a text from Lauren saying it's not looking good. We're still doing the briefing, but I think that, I think that's she just... She said, no, she said that was a positive thing. They've done that last time, though. I know. I think that's just running the milk I think procedure. she's just trying to maybe build us up a wee bit so we're not like this. Aye, possibly. I she sent us a picture of the clouds down there and they look quite low set, so... I don't know. We're no experts. Well, okay, I just don't wait, understand. Wait. Cancel it and then go to, like, I don't know, somewhere really sunny. Fuck Park. <laughs> Let's go to Thorpe Park. No, I mean like go somewhere sunny to do it. Go, let's go to Dominican Republic. Or like on the Gold Coast or something like that. Let's go, yeah, let's go to Australia. It's not looking good. We've had a weather update saying they're monitoring the clouds and it doesn't look as if it's going to get any brighter or the clouds are going to disappear within a couple of hours. We've got a meeting in London, it's ready to go. And we've got prior engagements, so it may be a case of coming back down again. Which, to be honest, I'm not too worried about because London's awesome. It's dead in the water. Another failure today. Can I retry, can't you? Yeah. yeah. We're going to try and come back down. Maybe next month. Maybe next month. Third time's a charm. We're walking to Liberty right now because I have an appointment at Maria Tash. Everyone always asks where my ear piercings are from and I feel really bad saying it because Maria Tash is quite expensive but it's literally the biggest treat to myself and I've wanted a new nose ring for ages and I really want a new piercing. So we're walking here right now. We got to the hotel, we're staying at the Sanderson, one of my faves and I had meetings with my manager Emma. I've got three meetings tomorrow. Meeting today is very exciting. I'm excited to show you guys what we're working on. But right now, we're about to go into Maria Tash. Are you going to get a piercing? Nah, I'll pass today. Me and Jack both feel really, really tired and a bit well, after spending six hours in the car today to go to a non-existent skydive. So we got really, really nervous and then now... Yeah, we've got nothing, nothing to be nervous about because we didn't do it. So we're just walking into Liberty right now. So, 
No, it was totally fine. Totally was fine, yeah. I always get a wee bit nervous, my hands get quite sweaty, and I'm like, mm -hmm, but it's fine. <laughs> Jamie got pierced, we had booked a table for dinner and we've cancelled. And we cancelled so, the table. We're so tired because we're up at like, what, seven? Yeah. Give or take for this skydive. It's so weird just, how sitting in a car makes you tired. I don't know, it was a long car journey though, right down to Kent. So yeah, we're not going to just come back to the room and phone Uber Eats. No. Or use Uber Eats. Deliveroo. Deliveroo and crash out. Because we've got a big day again tomorrow. Three meetings. Three meetings. A facial. A facial. And then a party. Yeah. So out. Hardly. Morning is a beautiful day in London. Jack and I, me and Jack, are just walking to our first meeting. We've got three meetings today and I'm going for a facial with Sue Man. I'm so excited. This girl's might be the best facialist in the world. So I'm very excited. First meeting's with Mac. Second meeting is with Urban Decay and then Nick's. And Emma's coming to meet us as well. It's gonna be great. We've got a busy one. Yep, it's gonna be busy. And then we can chill out tonight. Yep. So I need to get ready. I'm getting my photo taken by a very cool photographer, so I'll be putting that on my Instagram tonight. But yeah, it's, it's a good day. Day of work. Hey guys, basically we had three meetings back to back. I went for an incredible facial with Sue Man, who is great. Really, really great. So she's based out of the Sanderson in the W Hotel in London. And if you feel like a really special treat facial, then I highly recommend her. She was great. Proper massage, my whole body. She put on one of those jelly masks right over my eyeball so I can open my eyes and then peeled it off. But my skin is looking way better because it was struggling a little bit. And we're all ready. We're going to the YSL party to know. I am wearing the most extra <laughs> two piece ever. This is from Topshop and I am obsessed with this print. I think it's incredible. And then this little boob tube thing's from Topshop as well. Me and Jack are matching. It's excellent. So we're just getting ready to go. Uh, this lipstick I've got on right now is the new lipstick by YSL. It's called The Slim. And this is shade 21 and it is the most gorgeous red. And the lipstick texture is more matte but comfortable matte. So I'm really digging it. Pearson's doing well. New nose ring's doing well. Happy. Happy as Larry, could not be happier. We've got this party tonight, then I'm waking up early tomorrow because I've booked myself in for a massage as well because I'm being good to my bad self and that's why, look at me and Jack matching, look. Close enough. It's like a contrast. We're match. like um, con men because this is not Versace. <laughs> Have a couple of drinks with some friends tonight. I'm actually doing a photo shoot, so that's what we're getting ready to go down for just now. I've got an exciting shoot. We're back from London and I've got a funny story to tell you. This is for everyone that doesn't have me on Twitter or people that do have me on Twitter and would like to know more details. So basically, YSL party was brilliant. We all went out after it. It was really, really fun. We went to a club called Drama in London and we always have the best time. My friend Jeremy always hooks us up and we always have a really, really fun time. And then we go back to the hotel and I was really, really tired. I got straight to the room. Everyone was in the room with us. It was me, Jack, Cece and her husband, Buzzy, and Koshal and her husband, Vex, Patrick. We all got to the room. I just took my, my skirt and my jacket off because I was like, I'm going to bed. Took my skirt and my jacket off. Everyone was leaving and Jack, I think he was saying something like he was going to go downstairs to play a game of pool or something like this. There's a pool table downstairs in the hotel. But I left the room to go and ask Jack something and obviously it was like half three in the morning or something so no one was going to be awake hopefully so I just went to poke my head out the door totally walked out of the door by the time I got to the lift to, to speak to Jack Jack had already gone down in the lift and I just hear the hotel door close I hear it close behind me as soon as I hear it click I realise I'm outside in my pants and my sports bra and when I say pants they were small pants so I'm just standing outside the hotel door and I'm looking at it and I'm just thinking to myself what am I going to do? 
what we're going to do. And I think I actually said that pretty loud out loud to myself a couple of times. If you hear someone saying that outside your hotel room at half three in the morning, what are you going to do? You're going to look out the peephole and see what's going on. And there's going to be me, me with my actual bare bum out, pretty much. So I'm standing in front of my front of our hotel room. We're on the fourth floor. Jack's gone downstairs to the lobby for all I know. That's that's where I think he's gone. So I'm standing there for about two minutes, and then I looked around for a phone to call down the reception because I thought that can't be the first time that's happened. And I do still have like my bits are covered. See the main bits that get like censored and stuff. They're covered up, so it's kind of fine. <laughs> so looking for a phone at phone reception. There's no phone, so I just have to. And this is the scary part, and I didn't even think about this. The hotel that we were in, you have to have your room key to get back to your floor so I just get in the lift and press lobby and then I think if Jack's not in the lobby I can't go back up in the lift without literally walking right, ac right across the lobby to get a hotel room key to get back to my room I don't have any ID I could literally be a crazy naked lady trying to get any room key just to get back to my room do you know what I mean so I go down in the lift there's a little like bit where I could hide so I was hiding and I just shouted Jack and then I peeked my head out and I saw Jack was at the reception and he turned round and thank goodness he saw me and he came into the lift. And I think Jack just looked at me and went, what are you doing? And I was like, I just got locked out, can you please let me back into the room? And then I sat and I ate a Thai green curry at half three in the morning in my pants. So I think my tweet went something like this. If any of you guys are having a bad day, just imagine me drunk in my tiny pants in a hotel corridor, just wondering where it all went wrong. And I honestly think it's hilarious now, so it's fine. <laughs> Drogba, you wanna go for a walk? GoPro dog. He's Drogba. a vlog dog today. You wanna He's go for a walk? Good. Try out your new toy? Let's do it. My leg damn big buck or chicken. My fucking belly <laughs> I'm not your bro. Stop doing that. <laughs> Today I have like hardly updated a blah, blah, blah. That's the plan, Batman, and I hope you can do it because I can. Oh rhyming. <laughs> Punching the neck. Is that is that we all know how is that in? We all know how's that end. We all know uh, how's. Boom. Tick. 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 Tick.